Alright guys, welcome to uh, <laughs> a new beginning. Uh, this would be sort of my, I think it's my third attempt of getting this game started and trying to make it out in space. Um, and uh, uh, it's been rough, you know, first time I tried to figure out all my st all this stuff myself. Um, I put down my foot on saying no to going to YouTube for tutorials. So I've not, not done none of that. Uh, maybe the only thing I did was going to uh, a station near Wiki and, you know, try to look for some recipes for the furnace and, and try to do, you know, figure out how to create different materials. Um, but other than that, everything has been, you know, connected together. I just manufactured some stuff and and you know tried to figure out how to make a habitat and all of that and I failed because I'm too slow I can't get something up and running so my oxygen runs out or I die of some other stupid stuff so we're gonna try this again and this time we've learned a few things from you know our past experiences so we have our well what's up with the view here this is crazy um grab this here uh, I don't want to lose that so we'll put that over there so what we're, we're, we're gonna do today is we're gonna set up ourselves two goals um one would be create a platform for our base and the second one would be uh, materials uh, production yeah processing of materials and then production um, and of course all of that in between there will need some detail cabling and all of that kind of stuff so um, we're just gonna get to that um, just gonna figure out which boxes I need now organic usually is not needed first and I don't need consumable supplies just yet maybe the beacon uh, when I want to go out and you know finding stuff at night so I can find my way back um, so my beacon would be in there so I'm gonna grab not that, sorry. This one. Um, but first, we got to figure out where we want to set up our base. And we have this nice crater here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe here would be nice. Um, and then we'll... But also, one thing that is kind of important is that when you venture out, you want to have a nice vantage high or, you know, really high, or, you know, some sort of tower or something on your base. Um, so you can easily find your way back and see that in the horizon when you're sort of walking around um, but uh, one thing I've tried before is making a tower and putting out sort of a light outside um, but eventually I don't know what's going on with the game but you kind of lose that out of the field of view when you venture far enough from the base so it was totally useless um, and yeah, if I'm gonna build the space here and hope for surviving, um, it would be nice to have a base sort of dug into the crater and have sort of sub have a, a, a subterranean area, um, and and from out of that have you know a second base uh, or second floor, um, but also it would be nice maybe to have a taller. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I I figured that I I'll probably do the tall version of it and set something up high we have another nice crater here we have a nice crater, and there's wow this place is nice this actually looks cool but I'm never gonna find my base if I have that crater there I'm, uh, or have my base set up there um, so I'm gonna go back here and I think this vantage point here will be enough and we have some materials around so that's good um, so let's do that uh, let's grab our first one, the beacon, I can just place it here, just, you know, stay there, there you thank you buddy. Um, that would be consumables, construction supplies, one and two, so we'll grab that. This guy is really strong. <laughs> we want to set up first a frame, so we'll do wall, sheets, iron sheet, frame, here we go. Um, and, yeah, I don't mind having it a little bit high there, so we'll do that. And we'll start with a four by uh, three, I think, uh, frame set set up. So we'll have, oh man, come on, 
Where's my frame? There we go. So one there, one there, there, there. And we'll build a stair later on so I can then, you know, have a stair so I can uh, get up here. But for now, I think we can just jump it. Uh, we'll put that back in there. We'll take some sheets and we'll swap over to our tool belt and put the duct tape there. And we need a torch. You need a torch to weld these iron sheets onto the frame so that they come become more solid and rigid. So uh, when you have your torch, you just press R to get the sub menu for that when you selected it and press again to see the on, on button and then click F to turn it on and then it should start flashing and just hold your mouse button and it will produce a frame and it has two stages you have this one that actually you can have see through here and then you have the one which is solid um, so we will do the solid for the base here all right frame all done okay let's pack this up again uh, turn that off tool belt let's put this back in there and we want to grab then our sort of items we want to build um, and we start with some typical construction items that we can use. Um, can I jump up with this thing? I actually can, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think I can. <laughs> um, so we'll set up our power first, solar panel. So we'll go do that first. Oh man, this is going to be a problem. There we go. Um, and the sun is at the moment yeah so we have that would be east that would be west so the sun is setting this way um, so we'll set up the panel that right here and we'll get our glass sheets uh, that would sort of give us uh, you know solar panel needs glass sheets on the top obviously um, so we'll grab that nice uh, there we go and now oh, let's put that back in there well um, come on get up there it's not hard it's not able to double jump I kind of there we go thank you uh, then we have cabling right um, and as I'm seeing it here I'll probably set up one or two maybe three solar panels right there right um, maybe I can do a tower and then set up three solar panels up there and we'll see how that works other than that we have to um, um, we'll, we'll set up a floor here for our production uh, for the machines and so on uh, I think maybe I'll just set up two more frames that way and I'll set the solar panel that way so um, we'll start with one um, we need the cabling for for that and I'm thinking maybe the power supply or power controller uh, would go in the other one uh, or just up front there. So let me just put these sheets in there. Take the power, one of the power controllers. And come on. Okay, and and we'll put the power controller just about here. So it's sort of easy accessible, but not in the way. Uh, and we want to set up the right sort of way for that. Uh, build area power controller option two. I don't know why that's a thing. Um, and we'll put it here. Now everything should be connected. Not and don't worry, don't worry about it. You, you can't connect data connections and uh, power connections on the same line. But eventually, when you, what I figured out before is that when you want systems like consoles and stuff like that to work. Uh, they have to be part of the grid or some of them have to be sort of before and after you got to think logically in, in how that works um, when you connect computers and other uh, systems to the, the grid uh, and sort of which um, in which sequence these connections should be before it reaches the console for example something like that um, I totally forgot to turn this on so we'll do that um, so once the Sun comes in it'll shine right on my solar panel so now we have pr basic production ready. Uh, we should be able to do a lot with that. Um, uh, 
so I'll, I don't need the solid generator I don't think so but uh, I'll you know what I'll set it up anyway uh, because it's actually very useful when you need some backup power so we'll set up uh, our little thing here uh, as a power generator um, and we'll do the cabling for that of course I left my cables in my suitcase over here so just over there perfect um, and I'll connect it to this grid over here um, but we'll need of course to do some cutting again um, I gotta do this before the sun rises so I don't lose power um, or sunlight uh, there we go A corner and straight and I'll do a uh, junction here as well just in case I have something coming up later further on to this over here and I think this actually does have a data connector uh, but it's on the back is that right yeah it actually has one uh, on the back here let me do, just do the jetpack quickly perfect now we have everything nicely connected uh, I thought I saw some yeah this is silver right that's silver it's nice and shiny so that's silver um, it's impossible to see the difference when you have that in the in the tool belt uh, or your mining tool belt and this is coal so this would be sort of useful right now so we'll do that we'll do that and we'll switch over to our belt for mining but I'm gonna put back this power um, thingy here uh, our power controller and we need to have that with me Ah, here you go. Cool. So my, if I go to my backpack, I have this tool belt. I can swap. Uh, and if you want to, hey, there's the sun. If you want to swap out stuff, you just uh, hold on. Just turn. Well, I'll leave the light on. Uh, you can um, just keep your number five on, and it will switch. Uh, and then you can put your other belt away, and you'll have your mining tool belt. So now we have this sort of mining tool. I'll once again press R for options and then R again for that on and off option. F to activate and it has a battery, but this one will last you a long time before you have to charge it. So don't worry about it. Um, and usually these small batteries that the tools use, they're really quickly to charge. So don't worry too much about that as well. Um, so we'll do the coal here. I just want to make sure that I have plenty of that just to sort of uh, supply me with power during the night so I can keep my battery charged uh, and have sort of more efficiency out of the day instead of having to wait for daylight. Um, coal is also useful eventually for forging uh, any typical materials like steel. Um, so make sure that you don't, you know, just burn everything and just use that to create power. Uh, try to get yourself sustained on battery power and solar uh, and, and then from there you can you know, do a lot and you don't have to be supply or sort of relying on these coal powered thing um, or the salt I don't know what the machine was called again the solid something <laughs> uh, we're at that should be sufficient um, now my the solar panel is not gonna give me a fully charged battery from the beginning. Uh, I'll have to constantly re sort of reset the angle uh, off the panel, uh, and that kind of is a bugger. But still, um, so now I'm just gonna grab my coal and put it in there, and it should start burning some coal. Does it have a, a button I have to activate? I can't remember if there's a button I have to activate it on. I think actually it actually just turns on. Yeah. When you put some coal in there, it just starts. No, it does not. There is a button right there. And now it's running. And now this is actually going to give me a lot of power. Uh, it's a very quickly efficient way of doing that. So that's good. So now I, I probably should be getting in a fully charged battery by very or very shortly. Um, and I can just keep feeding it coal. So I, I'll just do that and I'll put the remaining 50 in there. Uh, yeah, it's not letting me now that, you know, it's not burned up yet. So we'll leave, leave it to that. Um, first things I want to do 
want to have enough of is cables uh, and be able to you know with cables you can make your base in the way you want as long as you have enough cable you can do that um, and also I want to make sure that I have power available and so uh, and easily supplied so I want to set up three more or maybe four more uh, power supplies or solar panels uh, and then eventually we'll go to uh, setting up a furnace so I can start you know melting some into uh, some iron so I can create more batteries uh, and, and and also be able to set up an electronics printer um, so let's figure first out how much it is for cabling right so I need copper for that uh, build cable coil I need copper so we'll shut this off I don't want to be spending my battery on, on just having stuff on standby um, so let's go here and find I'm not gonna grab silver I don't need it right now and not, not that I know of uh, there we have some copper so that's awesome that's perfect let's get into this there we go all right <clears throat> so we have a fully charged battery and we have some material here so we'll start grinding on some copper first to create some cabling and we'll do some iron ore uh, to create some maybe a stair I, I am really in need of a stair right now I'm kind of tired of jumping up and down here um, so I'll think I'll just go for the stair thing first. Uh, construction kit, wall size, pipe trim, 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 manufacturing. St oh, hold on! I had stairs right there, so I need just iron for that. Um, so we'll we'll get that done. And oh man, I really could use that last little bit of no. This sounds good. Okay, well uh, I'll put my coal thing running. I think that's gonna keep me going for a while. That's 50 coal. So already it's charged my battery to the fullest. So one thing I'm, I'm going to do right now while I'm waiting for this to finish uh, is find my frames. I want to I want have I want these frames set up here and oh man I really need stairs. Here we go uh, and I'll, I'll put some frames up here. Oh, crap. Um, and one more there. Let's go back around. Oh, that's true. That's that. jump no too soon there we go and one thing I do want to do is set up a tower um, uh, as I mentioned I want to have a tower right so we'll do that like that and yeah we'll, we'll see what I can do I'll probably set up one or two solar panels on this here um, and see how that works maybe even three I might know work um, and see how that plays out um, oh hold on it's finished cool okay uh, switch that on let's put this in there while the iron is doing that I'll do the cable coil uh, cable coils like that that just requires half a gram of copper and I have 32 so it's gonna give me what 64 um, I don't need that many so we'll stick to, hmm, I'll probably do 20, um, because I know that there there is some high capacity power cables that you can do, um, and I'll probably use those for uh, input down to the control panel here, um, so we'll see how that works. Let's see here, we have a 20, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all these cables are in my other tool belt. I'm not gonna grab them right now Or maybe I'll do Get a nine Let's say ten maybe it's ten that should do just do just fine So we'll turn that off and we'll do steel frames get stairs. Here we go um, Let me just put my cable away over here like that and as you can see, it just bundles them, so uh, you're not going to be ending up with a pile of cables. And I'm thinking maybe two stairwells, or just one, I don't know, I don't know. Let's do two, maybe. One for that side, and one for that side. And those cost 15. Wow, that's a lot, so maybe just one. 
And I think the most natural place would be to have a stair would be here. So we'll, yeah, so we're low power already already there. So there we go. We have our stairs. So that's awesome. Um, so the other thing I was gonna do is uh, see here. I want to go for do gold, right? So let's get some gold processed. And yeah, I have my frames. And one thing I wanted to see was, can I create solar panels on this machine? Pipe sign, walls, floor grading, glass. Mm, yeah, no, I don't need that right now. Iron frames, sheets, our furnace, uh, centrifuge, door, printer. There we go. I need gold for that. So yeah, that's perfect. I have gold, so I'm, I'll wait for that, and we'll create that electronic printer. And with the electronics printer, we can create, you know, batteries, power controllers, ships of all kinds. Oh, sorry for the yaw. <sighs> Too little coffee this morning. Hold on, let me just refill. I gotta update my coffee cup. Mm. Right, so now we have, no, it's not done yet, but yeah, you can create a lot of electronic stuff like that through uh, the electronics printer. Uh, so we'll, 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 we'll get to that. Um, it's not done yet. Uh, hydraulic pipe bender, iron wall, lights, locker. Locker is something I need to do as well, so I'll, I'll set up that. Uh, do we have more? Uh, I think I have more iron. This one should be that, yeah. Iron ore, yeah. So we'll, we'll melt that as soon as that's done. Yeah, I'll, I'll do two lockers. Um, they're actually quite big, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there, uh, and it's very useful for materials. Now, remember that. It, well, I'll probably explain that later, but um, remember that you can you can have lockers and you can have your stuff stored in there, but not everything like ice. Uh, if you put that in and the sun shows up, it's gone. You're it's gonna melt. So be sure not to store away way too much stuff on that. That is ice. Um, same with you know if you take ice out of the mining belt and put it in your hands, it's gonna melt. So yeah, make sure not have that way too available uh, or outside uh, during the sunlight during night, no problem. Um, so we have two lockers right now. We have the gold is taking a while to sort of process, and I think we just run out of coal. Yeah, it's out. So we're right now just running on battery power. Um, so we'll let that go. Um, I did the locker. I want to do the electronic printer. I just still need some iron and some gold. And this gold well, is 50 gold, so it's going to take a while. Now one thing I'm going to wait for, well, uh, the furnace is still working. Uh, I got to do something else while this is actually happening. Uh, it's setting up. Uh, a few things like this one. They have a sensor here, and these sensors they can do three things. I think, uh, yeah, you can do daylight sensor, motion sensor, and then gas sensor. Now, for daylight sensor, uh, it's very useful because you can then use that to connect a computer to it, and from there you can have uh, the computer program tell them tell the solar panels to move based on the sun's angle. Um, so we'll do that. I'll set up my panel, my solar sensor right here. We'll turn it that way so we'll have the cable correctly. And so now it's showing 20 degrees, right? So the sun angle is 21 degrees and I can tell the computer then to do, uh, you know, act or, you know, do some changes to the solar, solar, solar panel angle uh, based on that. So we'll do that when, when that time comes. Um, but I'll just set it up right now. All right, so we have our iron finished, and we'll do our electronics printer. That's gonna take a little while, as you can see. It's slow, but it will get there. Uh, we're really, you know, taking out of this battery right now. Uh, the sun is still giving us 300. Yeah, so it's going down. We'll do. Uh, well, I don't have my tool belt, so not. Yeah, I don't. I got nothing else here, so I'll switch back to my tool belt um, that will be this switch 5 pull in 
and I'll put this in there and where's my wrench here we go and we want to change the angle on this as well let's go back here the other way let's put it to 50 then it'll be just perfect for for a little while and while I'll do that I'll grab my tool here my welder and I'll get some iron sheets and I'll make those frames solid uh, so I can then set up some solar panels on that later on um, so we're gonna turn this on weld it I'm not gonna go all the way through that should be enough it's just I don't so I don't fall through turn that off And this is not done yet, it's at 85%. So I think I can set up a computer right here. Um, I don't have a computer right now, but I think I can recreate one with my new electronics printer. Um, and that's gonna be going right there, I think. Yeah. And this thing is big as well. So we want to have it somewhere that's not going to obstruct any space. Uh, ideally, it would be there. So I'll put it here and I'll move my locker because that is not in a right position. Let's see here. Let's move that over maybe to this side and we'll figure something out because I, I, as I mentioned, I'm not going to set up solar panel here, but maybe that way. So I'm just going to leave that that way. Maybe even move this over there and have sort of all my power input stuff over that side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, buddy. Um, let's put that in there. Let that just fire up. We have some copper. We're done. So what else can I create here? I have centrifuge on my power currencies. So there's a lot of stuff I have not tried yet, like... I don't know. Uh, construction kit for walls. I have no idea what that is. Uh, sign. Not tried it out. Pipe. Nothing shuts. Um, tool manufacturing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's to create tools. Uh, if stuff breaks, I guess. Um, so I'm not gonna go into. I'm kind of tempted. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set up one of these. But I, I'm I'm sensing that I'll probably need. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a while as well uh, I'm gonna need more space here so I because I, I like this floor space like that and I want to have enough space for these two lockers and so I'm gonna make one more tile uh, going this way I think that's sort of the right decision for that <coughs> I'm gonna move these boxes down here uh, what else do we have in here anyway how are we doing over here Perfect timing. And now we can then put this friend over. Uh, this stair is really not doing it well here. <laughs> but we, we, we have some space over here. So we'll put this fabricator over here for that tool manufacturing thing. Right? So we'll do that. It has enough space to go through there. The coal thing is not working very well. I, I should probably turn that around. Don't you think? Because there is nothing else on this side um, so let's do that I'll grab this and I'll twist it so this would be the entrance and it still has the cable correctly I'll have to put them but or power button on this side so that's correct yeah a lot better Um, yeah I was actually running out of batteries I just remembered um, So we'll see if we can get the most out of this sun right now before it goes away. It's just a few seconds just to give it the battery just a little boost. And it's pretty much charged. So let's do that. I'll switch over to my low battery there. Put this in. Power critical. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. There you go. Fully charged. 
So now my battery does have a little power, but still it's gonna need some. Uh, it's gonna need some uh, charging. Uh, so I think we have accomplished a lot here. We've been able to set up some manufacturing. We have our electronics printer. Uh, we have power. Uh, we have some lockers, and so we have some control over our raw materials. And we have some power redundancy in case we need some, you know, extra power. Um, so I think I'm just gonna call it quits on this episode right now, and hope you guys like this episode. And you know, stay tuned for next one, where we will focus on manufacturing items and improving our um, our habitat here a little bit more. Um, and maybe on not that episode, but next one there again, we will focus on the structure, airlocks, lighting, and more of like um, typical uh, life supply, what do you call it? I don't know. Uh, sort of, yeah, stuff like that you need to sort of survive inside this habitat. Now, of course, I, I don't want to go way too big as well. Uh, as I learned from the previous experiences I'd had with this game, is that too much of a big space here there's a tank that comes with the game when you start and it has a lot of air but if you release it into a, too much of a bigger room it doesn't give you enough pressure uh, so I the one I had was two floors it was like four by six it was huge <clears throat> something in here will just stick to um, just a typical uh, three by three maybe I think that should be enough and from there, we'll figure out if we will bring in the lockers or whatever. We'll do that. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me for this time. And, uh, you know, leave a like and subscribe and comment anything I, you think I'm doing wrong. Or if you have any tips or ideas that you want to, you know, tell me that it's more efficient. I would love to hear your opinions. Um, and, well, thank you, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>